physically as an idea, travel from the east to the west and maybe reappear in probably the most picturesque city in the world that is about water and, and Venice. So we thought um, it would be beautiful to bring it here as an installation for the, for the Biennale um, and to put it in the Darsena Grande where, where we are. And it's actually a very um, special treat to be uh, allowed to be here. There are very, very few things that have ever floated in the water in Venice. And it's kind of strange because when you think of Venice, you think of water and you think the easiest thing in the world should be to put something in the water in Venice. And it turns out it's the most difficult thing in the world. Um, you're, you're actually sitting in military territory, so the Italian generals had to uh, give their permit to, to host you here tonight. Um, and, uh, but in, in a way that's a side story, I think it's, it's really the, the, the surroundings that, um, that, that make this spot. Um, but, but really the feeling of, of floating here was, um, was something we wanted to, to offer to you and share with you. Um, the fact that this raft uh, is here and the fact that there's actually a movie being shown here is almost a coincidence. Um, the, the idea of this installation uh, came about uh, totally independently and Horst Brandenburg, who has worked uh, on this film that uh, he will present tonight, um, sort of at, at the time of creating this raft uh, suddenly said the, the, the movie is about to finish and so we had the idea of combining the th two things and for him to present this film here tonight. Um, how this all came about uh, is in, in a way almost a funny story because um, it's six and a half years ago that I received one of the strangest emails of my life in the form of a letter, in the form of partly a poem, partly an insult, uh, partly the strangest proposition that anyone ever, like it was completely incomprehensible but somebody who essentially said a few things and said I want to meet you and I want to talk to you about what you're doing. And it was so weird that I said immediately yes, uh, because it made absolutely no sense. And then he, he appeared um, with the camera, sat down, we started to talk. And before I thought we really had started, he said thank you and disappeared again. And that was it. Out of that, he fabricated a small television documentary, uh, television uh, piece. And, but the conversation we had started um, was, was in a way quite, quite interesting for both of us. So he came back and out of that, uh, a story developed of, of six years of, of conversations, essentially, and um, he's presenting something about, about these conversations of the past six years, so I want to hand over to him. Thank you.